to show you how you can test for golfer's elbow at home. I'll show you four tests that you really don't need any equipment for. And then we'll just generally talk about some of the imaging that I will order if I'm concerned that it could be something else. So let me show you these four tests. The first test is pretty simple. If you go to a doctor's office, they might use a reflex hammer like this, but honestly, you don't really need one. You can just use two fingers. So let's say I have pain in the inside of my left elbow. So golfer's elbow is gonna bother you on the inside, usually about one finger width from this little bony protuberance right here. So if your pain's on the inside in here, primarily with some pain into here, I would suspect that. And what we can do is we can just take a couple fingers here, or your doctor might use a reflex hammer if you're in the office, and just do some tapping on the inside of the elbow. And with golfer's elbow, this isn't a really specific test, but if you do have tenderness in here, it can be one test that may kind of raise our suspicion that it could be golfer's elbow. So that's the first one, that's called Tennell's test. The second one we just call golfer's elbow test. So pretty straightforward, um, but what it really is is just a wrist extension. So again, on the left side, we're gonna take our right hand, bend our fingers and our wrists back and straighten our arm all the way like we're trying to stretch our forearm here and you're gonna have pain, if it could be golfer's elbow, in that same region, right here on the inside of the elbow. Make sure you distinguish pain from stretch because it will stretch it, but with golfer's elbow, it will produce more significant discomfort there on the inside of the elbow. The next one I'm gonna show you is just a resisted muscle test. So what you're gonna do here, again, with the left side, you're gonna put your arm into what we call supination. So your wrist is facing up towards the ceiling. You're gonna grasp that with your other hand, straighten your elbow, and then you want to try and push your arm so your palm is facing down, but use your other hand to resist it so you're not actually allowing that movement. So I'm just going to try and turn, and this, would almost sh surely cause discomfort on the inside of the elbow here. I typically do that test on everyone and when it's positive, it definitely raises my suspicion. The last one I'm gonna show you is probably the most difficult one and I'm gonna lay down and do this one and Dr. Ree will come over and just show my elbow so you can kind of see the movement we're going through, but it's called an ulnar nerve tension test. So you wanna just lay down on your bed or your couch. I'm gonna lay on the table here. You're gonna bring this left arm if that's the affected one. So it's just laying at your side now. Then you're going to extend your wrist here, bend your elbow and bring it all the way up here, almost like it's a serving platter. Then you wanna kinda of externally rotate your arm a little bit and bring it out to the side like this and you can bend your head to the side here. So that one's a little bit more complicated, but what that does actually is it tensions the tissues, but it also tensions the ulnar nerve and the nerves that are the originating fibers for the ulnar nerve. So if you have a lot of pain on the inside of your elbow with that, it could be golfer's elbow, but it could also be something called ulnar nerve lesion or um, ulnar neuropathy. And so that can be a little bit trickier to kind of tease out. Um, if we are treating this, there's tons of really great exercises that you can do. And I will go ahead and link those videos down below and at the end so that if you do have positive tests, you can actually do some home rehab it uh, rehab for it at home, but if it's not responding to home rehab, if it's not responding to, you know, seeing a chiropractor who's going to do some soft tissue work, do some dry needling, if it's not responding to bracing, all those kind of conservative things like that, 
Then the next step that we're gonna do is usually order some imaging and good images are first in x-ray just to make sure that you don't have something called an avulsion fracture where the tendon actually kind of tears off a little piece of the bone. And then after that, typically doing an ultrasound is a really good imaging modality to give more information. And an ultrasound is just where they put a gel and some probe over that area and it pulls up an image so that your radiologist can see what that tendon and what the muscle, the muscles look like in that area. Um, so that would be the next step. If you guys have any questions about Golfer's Elbow, if there's anything else that you wanna see in the videos, feel free and drop a comment in, in the comment section below and just subscribe to our channel for some more information about common conditions that occur in sports medicine and with chiropractors. And I will see you guys then.